Learning a little more tonight about the death of seven-year-old Cade Meyer, who died outside his elementary school in Gardner. And police tell us the little boy did not use the school crosswalk. He apparently dashed between two cars as school was letting out. Christina Medina is live in Gardner, where understandably it's been a very tough day there. Christina? Yeah, good evening. It's been a difficult day for everybody here in this town. Now, the crossing guard said while it was tough, he wanted to come back to school today to make sure these kids knew he was watching out for them. Ron Knudsen is still emotional about what he saw yesterday outside Madison Elementary in Gardner. It was a sad event, especially when I found out it was one of mine. One of his own was second grader Cade Meyer. He's the son of the assistant principal at the Gardner Edgerton High School, which is right across the street. The school district released this statement today. His principal said Cade was a bright and happy boy and such a joy to be around. The sadness felt in Gardner is beyond words. He was having a little difficulty with it, and I think when the captain sat down and talked to him and said, you know, this is not your fault. You probably couldn't have done a thing about it. Last night, he and other members of the Gardner Public Safety Department, including police, fire, and EMS, all went through crisis management. I've never been to one before, but they said now's the time to just let it all out. Today, Newton was already back at school. It was a challenge for me to come back to make sure that my kids are safe, and that's what I'm here for, to make sure they get to and from school okay. I love every one of them. Today there were extra officers on hand at the school just trying to help this small community grieve such a huge loss. Now, police have not released the official accident report. They still say it is all under investigation. And this is the second student from the Gardner Edgerton School District who has died in a car crash just since school began this year. We'll have much more on how that's affected this community coming up at 6. For now, we're live in Gardner. Christina Medina, NBC Action News.